Okay. Hello everybody, welcome back. So today we are making this really, really cute and summery sun hat cake. So I've been playing around with different piping chips lately and I thought it would be so cute to use the basket weave technique to decorate a cake to look like an adorable little sun hat and it, like it's perfect because it's summer and oh, I think these are so cute. The cake is a brown sugar cake and it tastes kind of close to an actual pancake, which is amazing. So it's kind of like a pancake flavored cake. And the piping technique might look tricky, but don't worry because I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's so, so easy. So yes, let's get started. Okay, so first what you wanna do is combine the milk and white vinegar in a small glass and set it in the fridge for 15 minutes. And so this is gonna make homemade buttermilk. Then cream the butter and brown sugar with an electric mixer until it's pale and fluffy. Add eggs one at a time. Combine the flour, baking powder, and salt in a bowl. Then add this to the egg mixture in three additions, alternating with the buttermilk. And so if the buttermilk's lumpy, don't worry, that's just because it's homemade buttermilk versus store-bought. Then pour the batter into a jelly roll pan lined with parchment paper and bake at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Cool in the pan for 10 minutes, then transfer to a wire rack and cool completely. Place some red and blue buttercream into piping bags fitted with number 80 piping tips and place some tan buttercream in a piping bag fitted with the 2B basket weave piping tip. And the directions on how to make buttercream will be linked in the recipe that is linked in the description box below. Then using a large and small plate, cut out one large circle of cake and three or four small circles of cake. Place a large circle of cake onto a serving platter of your choice and set that aside. Stack the small circles of cake on top of each other and carve into the top of the hat. Spread some tan buttercream on top of the center of the cake and place the hat portion on top. Then pipe a basket weave pattern using the tan buttercream all over the surface. flowers using the red and blue buttercream and you are done! Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this recipe. Also, I wanted to update you guys with my Etsy shop. So Canada Post, which is how I mail my parcels out, is on strike. And so because they're on strike or there's discussions or something going on, I'm not able to ship any packages out. So I'll put my shop on vacation mode just until everything gets sorted. So I apologize if you're looking to purchase something. I will open the shop again as soon as I can, I promise. So that's why July's flavor hasn't been like announced yet because technically I can't ship it out anyways. So I don't want to like have you guys make orders and then be waiting for like two or three weeks for me to actually ship your stuff. And so yeah, I figured I just put the shop on vacation mode until everything is sorted. On Thursday, we are going to be making a rainbow dessert. So I hope you guys look forward to that because it's gonna look so cool. And I love you guys so much and I hope you are having a fantastic start to the week. Bye!